All right, what is up, everyone? Hope you guys are doing good and superb. Welcome back to another episode of the Hardcore Let's Play Survival Series. Yes, yes. So before we jump straight into today's episode, I'd like to remind you guys to like this video, all right? So it's only going to take two seconds. So scroll down and hit the like button, all right? So let's hit the like goal of 10 likes, all right? We were very, very close in the previous one. So I believe in all of y'all and we will be able to hit 10 likes for this video, all right? So without further ado, let's get cracking. Let's go. All right, back in the overworld. All right, if you guys have not seen the previous episode, all right, please go and check it out. And as you guys can see, the sun is setting. So we got a couple of things to do, all right? So I already prepared the tools and the stuff that I want to bring to the nether because we are going to work on another project in the nether, all right? So yes, it's going to be super essential. Why? Because we need the gold to battle with the piglins, all right? So at this current point of time, wait, hold on. Let me get the loot, alright, from the house. We have about 8 pieces of gold nuggets and we have 33 pieces of gold ingot, alright. So the goal is to battle with the piglins so that we can get ender pearls easily and we can proceed to the end portal ASAP, alright. So yes, that is the goal, which is to defeat the ender dragon and we will get there, alright. So let's skip the night first and we'll be back in the day and... Let's get cracking, alright? Let's go. Uh, new day, new beginnings. Alright, the sun is currently starting to come up from the east. So, let's head back to the nether, alright? So, what we're gonna do today is to build a very simple gold farm, alright? That I saw off YouTube, alright? Because that's the place where I get my inspirations from. And shoutouts to the guy for the build, alright? So, disclaimer, this is not my build, but I am gonna attempt it in hardcore mode. Is that Does it make any sense? I, I believe it does. Alright, so... Big shoutouts to Dusty Dude, alright, for coming through with the build, alright. I've seen it, I've tried it in creative mode, it works perfectly, alright. So, yes, um, we are back in the nether, alright. So, the first thing that we've got to do right here is to actually find a very big piece of land that has a lot of zombie piglins, alright. So, currently we only have like, what, four of them over there? So, I don't think we would want to use that spot over there. So, yes, if you guys are interested, you guys can follow along to make this build, alright. But please do subscribe to Dusty Dude, alright? He's the one with the build. And the whole idea belongs to him, alright? I'm just another guy playing Minecraft on YouTube. So, yes, please do support the Minecraft community, alright? Give him a follow. He has pretty dope stuff. And all that kind of shenanigans as well. So, please do check him out, alright? Dusty Dude. I'll leave a link to his profile and his YouTube channel in the description box down below, alright? So, we need to find a... Piece of land <laughs> that's big that has and has um zombie piglins as well and it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like we're off to a very fantastic start but it's okay um let's just try okay so uh i think we'll just revert back to the i think we'll just revert back to the the space that we were from and we're just gonna build from there all right i think that will be the most viable option for us at this point of time so let's get to it all right not so shabby i think this is a pretty good spot to start and oh my no way seriously guys whoa <laughs> that was the least of my intentions wow there's a nether fortress oh my wow okay nice okay <laughs> i am just in awe right now because like what is going on okay so let's just refocus all right so it looks like we found the, the nether fortress all right so i guess this is a pretty good seat right because we can fight the blazes and we can get the blaze powder and that is definitely going to help us in the long run to get Ice of Ender, right? So let's get cracking with the build that we have in mind and let's just be careful of the gas that's around the area as well. All right, so for the build, it's pretty simple, all right? So as you guys can see, these are the materials that you need. You need like a, over a stack of cobblestone, all right? You need some slabs and you need two hoppers and a chest or two chests actually and a couple of trap doors, all right? So Right now, this is a good start. Why? Because as you guys can see, there's zombie piglins everywhere. So we just need to be extra careful and we just got to be smart about it because apparently um, they can be angry at you for a very long time. All right. So and if they attack you, you are probably in trouble. So another method that or rather an escape plan would be great for us as well. So yes, Dusty Dude says to have your nether portal with you in the base. So I forgot to bring the obsidian, so I'm just gonna run back to the overworld to get some and I will see you all back here when I've gotten the nether portal, right? Yes, so I'll see you guys in just a bit. Alright, and we are back with the obsidian. Yes, yes. So without further ado, let's get cracking with the build, shall we? Alright, so um yes, 
we are going to do a 5, no, 7 by 6 by 3 square on the floor, alright? So with your cobblestone or whatever block that you have, preferably it's a block that would not be destroyed if like a gas shoots at it, alright? So I don't really remember the exact terms, but yeah, you guys get, a, you guys get what I mean, right? Just do not use netherrack, okay? <laughs> So that's seven, if I'm not wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're gonna go. No, actually, we're gonna go six for this one. Sorry, six out this way, seven this way. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Over here, two, three, four, five. And covering up here as well. Okay, so um, now we're just gonna break this right over here. And we are gonna go two blocks on top of this. So as such like this and we are going to cover it up this way all right um, not like that just going to carry up this one over here and just make sure you guys go around and get the shape and outline of the house so to speak <laughs> all right and boom all right so for the top of the roof we are going to go ahead and use half slabs or rather slabs all right because this way we can prevent mobs from spawning all right so bottom half slab all right bottom half of a slab right, that's what i'm trying to say all right so no bottom half of a block what am i talking about <laughs> all right so go this way 24 should suffice all right if i did the calculations correctly or uh, we should have some leftover as well so either ways it's gonna be good to have some extra all right there we go so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that so to prevent mobs from spawning up here what you could do is to Put some torches as well, all right. As such, all right, cool. And we're just gonna do that to get rid of this with the pickaxe that we have and not use the torch. Okay, so from here, this is your kind of like your entry point. So we're gonna go ahead and dig four blocks down from here. Okay, there's a gas right over there, so let's just be extra careful, all right. So we're gonna go one, two, three, here, one, two, three, all right. So kind of be like an exit way for yourself first, all right. So you can get out of here easily. So you're gonna place one trap door over here That goes down this way and your other trap door should be facing the same Direction and going down this way. All right So with this we are just gonna patch up the hole over here As such. All right, so this is three holes deep. All right, so we are gonna go four blocks down So let's just break that and that all right, so just be extra careful when you guys are mining in the nether because Yeah, if you fall down That'll be the end of your whole Minecraft career, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, from here, we're going to go and dig um, one, two, three, four. And then dig out the block right over here. And that should bring you all the way up to your house, all right? So you could do like a small little stairway leading back up to your base, all right? Either way, that's fine. Okay, so hi, buddy. Uh, it's not your turn yet, so please just leave first, all right? Uh, yes, let's do that so that if anything the piglins can zombie piglins can fall through here Okay, so with this now with your slabs, all right You are gonna have to put them right over here and over here. Okay, and You can use a cobblestone or you can use any other block that you wish to use Place it one block in front of the slab and cover it up this way. Okay, so from here um, There's two ways you could go about it. One is you can continue digging down one more block so that you can actually hit the feet of the Zombie fight piglins, alright? This gas needs to go! Okay, just give me a second, guys. Let me just get rid of the gas because it's crying is annoying me. Get away! Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore it. Okay, so... Oh. Okay, so... Back to the whole point, alright? Right over here. So, I'm just gonna dig down one more block over here, alright? So that I can stand here and I can, you know, farm the stuff. Which is... The goal that the piglins are gonna drop. Okay, so from here now, facing the house, facing the slabs, you're gonna turn left or turn right up to you. Alright, it's completely up to you. For me, I, I prefer to go to the left side. Okay, so we are gonna dig out the two blocks that's underneath the slabs. Okay, we're gonna dig out some space over here as well. Alright, so that we have enough room for ourselves to work. And we are gonna place two chests in front of the slab over here. So one and two. Okay, so. To give ourselves more space, I'm just going to dig out the area around here. Now, with the two hoppers that you have, you're going to make sure that it faces towards, inwards, the chest. Alright, or towards the chest. Alright, so same thing for this hopper. Make sure the back hopper is going into the front hopper. Alright, so with that, you can patch up the area around here. Okay, you can change the blocks whatsoever, up to you. Alright, there's really 
um no hard and fast rule on what you have to do okay so yes just light up the whole area as well okay so i think we are more or less done because this way if oh if the zombie fight pig piglins were to drop down here they would not be able to run towards us they would drop all the way and they will not be able to climb up as well okay so then we can come down over here we can take our sword and we can start swinging away at their feet and we can get the loot okay so let's go ahead and give this a shot all right so big shout outs to dusty dude once again for coming through with the build all right it's pretty simple to execute all right um yes so without further ado oh hold on the most important thing guys all right so as you guys know if we do if we were to start fighting the zombie fight piglins here we will be in trouble and they will stay angry with us for quite some time so what you want to do right now is to build up a space so that you can place your nether portal all right so for me I will probably be digging behind the area here, clearing out a space and we will teleport back home from there, alright? But the only downside to that is I the only downside to that is that I forgot the coordinates of home. So I gotta run back out first to get the coordinates of home and then we'll come back and then we'll start fighting the zombie fight plugins, alright? So just give me a second and I'll be right back. Two thousand years later. All right, the guest is attacking us right now. So I believe this was the annoying guy that was trying to... Ooh, all right. I wanted to get the advancement return to sender. All right, there we go. And this should be the, the fella who was trying to fight us since just now. No, rather the, the guest that's been crying and crying and crying. Like, just stop crying, all right? Did they actually despawn? Okay, that's, that's just weird. Okay, let's get back to business then. <laughs> All right, let's head back down. Right over here, I believe the entrance was here. Okay, so I got the coordinates of our home. All right, so now we are just gonna go ahead and try this. But before that, let me just see if it really works. So if I drop down here, can I escape? No, I cannot. Okay, cool. So let's just go ahead and break this real quick and we can just crouch and get out of there. Cobblestone, bam. All right, nice. So the moment that we've been waiting for, right? I'm gonna eat this bread first. All right, let's go and get ourselves some some angry piglins, double fight piglins, and we should be good to go. All right, so all right, not gonna lie, I'm I'm a little bit nervous. All right, because this is the first time I'm doing it in hardcore, so wish me luck, guys. All right, guess we could do it this way. Hey, buddy. All right, so many fellas, so many fellas. Oof. Oh boy, I am nervous. I am really nervous, guys. Okay, if we had a bow and arrow, it would be so much easier. But we don't, so... Alright. It goes nothing, guys. Alright. They're angry, they're angry. Okay, so now that we've angered them, we got to hurry up and enter the house, and we're going to open up the trap doors so that they will be able to fall through. Alright. Alright, yes, our first victim. Or is that the only one? Is there seriously no one else? Really? Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. Alright, so this should work. Because if we swing at this guy. Alright, there we go. Experience and probably got... Yes, we got some... We got one go nugget. Alright, so we can definitely use that to change that into an ingot. Alright, so come on. Hey, buddy. Aren't you mad at me or something? No? Yes? Come on. All right, that's two. All right, so this is probably one of the most effective ways to get some extra go and EXP in the earlier, earlier aspects of the game, or earlier stages of the game. All right, nice, nice. Just keep it coming, keep it coming. All right, nice. So that brings our total loot count to... There was just one, right? So let's just do that. All right, so it is two gold nuggets and two rotten flesh. All right, not too shabby, I guess. All right, so this these fellas are still angry for sure. All right, so I guess we just got to go go out and get some more of them. All right, let's see if there's any more of them around here so that we can get some more loot. All right, so ideally, you will want to get like a bigger piece of land and you got to try to find a place that has more spawns, zombie piglin spawns, all right? Because these fellas will stay angry at you for quite some time, all right? And you kind of really want to, you know, be able to escape the wrath of this fellas all right so if we were to do that as such that should bring a couple more of them uh oh i don't like the fact that they are outside my house now <laughs> oh gosh 
Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, 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 oh gosh. Please, please, please. All right. Ooh. That was a close one. That was a close one, my friends. All right. My phone was buzzing, so I was like, oh, 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 oh. All right, come on. Yes, sir. Any more of you out there? What if we... What if we do this? Could we see them? Maybe that will attract their attention. I don't know. All right. All right. There's some of them right over here. All right, so you can... Enchant your sword to get some better gear and drops as well, right? Looting tree, sweeping edge, all of this kind of stuff. Definitely plays a very big part, alright? But not too shabby, I would say, alright? Nice! I think we gotta get some pretty good loot from this, alright? Yes sir, so let's check it out. Alright, not too shabby, alright? So it's only been like, what, 2 minutes or 5 minutes? And we got 7 pieces of gold nuggets and 8 rotten flesh from the limited amount of... Zoglins around the vicinity, alright? So, yes sir. This is definitely good. So, shout outs to Dusty Dude for coming through with the build, alright? Thank you so very much, my man. Alright, you are a life saver and a game changer as well, alright? Yes sir. So, let's head out and see if we can get some more Zoglins to come through, alright? I see a couple of them right over here as well. So, as you guys can see, we are currently at level 25. So, that is not too shabby at all, alright? So... Let's get this guy right over here and the rest of them should be angry and yes sir. So actually once you get the hang of it, it's really not that tough because you just gotta time it right and not be nervous and mess it up altogether, alright? So yes sir. But these guys alright, they see me, they see me. Come on, come on. Just a three of y'all, really? Alright. Ouch. Ooh, that hurts. Alright, so you gotta stay away from them when they slash at you, alright? Because it really hurts a lot. Alright, not too shabby, guys. Alright, let's head down. You could replace this with ladders, okay? I just forgot to bring ladders. So, yep. Alright, let's hack away at them. Yes, sir. Give me the loot. Alright. Oh, we got lucky. We got a gold ingot. Nice. Alright, so this is going to be a super buttering machine, alright? So you can also smell the loot that it drop, alright? Like the golden sword to get extra gold nuggets, alright? So not too shabby. We have a total count of two gold ingots as of now. Alright, and it's only been like, what? Seven minutes, maybe? Yeah. Excellent stuff, alright? So there we go, alright? I'm just trying to recap or conclude the video right over here. Alright, so there you guys have it, alright? A very simple way to get gold in the early stages of the game all right big 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 shout outs to dusty dude for coming through with the build all right so i already left a link to his channel in the description box down below so do go and check him out all right please and subscribe to his channel as well for all the help that he has given us all right so yes sir big shout outs to dusty dude all right so with that being said this will be the end of today's episode all right so i hope to see all of you all very soon, alright, till then, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and to the next one, peace.